Welcome to our AppGem Plus spring finale. AppGem Plus as a program really started at UC Irvine uh, when I was an under undergrad there. And it started to empower youth in a better way to actually expose them to relevant 21st century learning that's project-based, uh, that gives them exposure to careers of today and prepares them to be kind of the technologists of tomorrow. They could have a great career in the future in a STEM field and especially coding and engineering and science and math and everything that it takes to put into these apps. I feel like in my future I'm probably going to do something that has to do with coding and software engineering, so um, this is a good start. AppGem Plus, we've been around for four years now. 2016 is our first time ever launching a spring program. So this is our first brand new spring and we're piloting it with three schools, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School in Irvine, um, Doig Intermediate in Garden Grove and Harbor Day School in Corona Del Mar. We pair up a college mentor with a team of three to five middle school students. So it's very personalized learning um, and it's project-based learning, so it's very engaging. I found a tool that would allow us to combine our project, projects into one. While we were creating this game, we thought, why not do something entertaining and we'll help us learn something even without us knowing. If you look, the whole model is about growing everybody we're working with. So we're growing the college students and we're growing the middle school students. Everything is about capacity building. The obvious piece is the kids, the middle school students, but the other piece is teaching mentors how to mentor and how to be involved in education and how to build their capacity and grow. So the sky's the limit with this. Hi, our team is Coders Copyrighted and we're from Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. Our app is called Oland the Slayer. So the goal of our app is to teach students more about STEM subjects, but we want to do it in a fun way. When you think about a group of three to five students, what happens is in the first two weeks, as they come up with their idea and as they're starting to build their product and their app, they start to assume roles. So one student may be the project manager of that team. Another student or a group of students may be a designer or uh, someone else might focus on the sounds and audio. So what you start to see happen is students naturally just start to kind of um, navigate themselves to something that they like and that's where our mentors also try to encourage them and educate them about careers. I worked on our pixel art and programming our game. My function in there is to create the shop where the user buys things. Me and my friend David do uh, the sounds for the game and background music. They more or less picked their own roles and I try to encourage them to uh, participate in the other roles as well. We kind of all work together but um, my part was kind of the design aspect and also just the coding. I mostly did uh, art and I also did programming. Being a programmer, being a project manager is just as important as being a designer or an audio engineer. They all work individually, but they all have to work and find a way to come together. Our game is based on chemistry and young juveniles will learn about the periodic table. STEM is a universal international language. So that's something that can be applied anywhere. And I think there's gonna be so much, I mean, with technology alone, we can communicate internationally. So I see this eventually being very connected between all kinds of nationalities and around the world. It teaches them about systems thinking, right? It teaches them programming principles, object-oriented programming, right? Um, learning to build and iterate constantly. So those are kind of the fundamental concepts that they learn along the way, uh, but they don't, you know, they don't realize it. Once you learn, it opens you up to a, a whole new world of possibilities and technology and app building. I don't usually interfere with what they want to do because I want it to stay just how raw it is when they get it in their minds. This is a game about how um, a unicorn is lost out of the sea and is supposed to find its way back home. 2016 spring is really made possible by um, our partners with Wells Fargo, Time Warner Cable, the OC STEM initiative. So the Wells Fargo uh, app champion, it's Team Green. Time Warner Cable was really looking for a serious funding focus for their community uh, partnerships. And since we're a technology company, totally makes sense that we would want to focus on STEM education because there's that T in their technology. Well, this program <laughs> completely fit into that guideline. Third place goes to Pink Fluffy Unicorn.
I think at a, at a local community level, uh, the programs that we, you know, that we do really help give them exposure to technology that's relevant, uh, give them exposure to careers in STEM, and encourage them to go to college, right? Um, especially with our role modeling piece with our college students. I mean, they learn so much and they connect and it's almost like having a little brother or a little sister at the end of our program. Thank you, mentors. <laughs> For the third place is Ferocious Bubble Eaters. Come on up, guys. And we try to serve as many students as you can, but at the end of the day, if you can just help one student be STEM literate and they're able to help, you know, another student, then it kind of catches fire, right? And it spreads easily. Okay, for the second prize, if you're all waiting for it, huh? runners up? Okay, <laughs> so it's um, copywriters? Chorus of copyright. And... Um, all about. I'm so excited about the diversity of this program. Um, there's so many students in different schools that are involved. There are more affluent schools and more students that are socioeconomically disadvantaged. And I think what's neat is that everybody has equal exposure to this program. Okay, so this is exciting. First place, and they're all getting Chromebooks. So the winner is Unicorns of the Sea. tonight is students from each school won and that's just that was actually based on scoring so what it means is that if you teach everybody the same cool things that everybody has an equal opportunity to be successful with these STEM programs so that's that's what excites me and brings joy to my heart